My name is Fazia Said. I am a human rights and women's rights activist from Pakistan. But yesterday's program was quite amazing. I saw thousands and thousands of people, high spirits, very strong commitment to bring democracy to Iran, to bring human rights in Iran, to bring peace and happiness in Iran. And I think it was very inspirational to be among those people. I did not know how organized the diaspora of Iran was. And I think that was new, the uh, level of solidarity that was shown by international entities, international, uh, very senior people, that was new to me. And I think the action and the leadership of women that was engaged in this whole organization was very new and very inspirational for me. I uh, feel like Mariam Rajavi is a woman leader, a very strong woman leader. And I think that she has inculcated uh, leadership qualities and inspiration among women. Men and women both, but it was very nice to see uh, women taking charge like that. And coming from Pakistan, I believe that women have the courage and women probably in the future are the only people who can take on the leadership to uh, eradicate militancy and fundamentalism in the world. Let us go forward from this extraordinary event. Volonté de démocratie pour l'Iran. and liberty. Human rights for young. Yeah, come on over here, State Department, and see about all the support. direction shown by President Rajavi. I love you. I love you. Maliki. Rouhani. Khamenei. Mujahid Hastan. Be ready. We'll be there with you. To assist the residents of Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty. We're 
أرسلها تحية إلى المجاهدين الصابرين المحتسبين في مخيم ليبرتي إلى إيران ديمقراطية حرة عادلة representatives of more than 300 Iranian associations from Europe, Asia, United States, Canada, and Australia. Hazel, Hazel, Hazel! I was approached and I was very interested in coming over because in Pakistan I have taken on uh, this whole struggle against militancy and fundamentalism for many years and I must say that is the biggest curse in Pakistan. I think our country would do, I mean we have our own problems but our country would do quite well without the cancer of militancy and fundamentalism. So I have been very emotionally engaged to fight against militancy and today that is the biggest challenge. So I felt solidarity because this struggle is also against fundamentalism. People who abuse our religion, uh, Islam which actually the word means peace, abuse our religion to violate human rights, to kill people, to uh, do all kinds of atrocities. So I felt uh, a solidarity in the struggle. Um, I do believe that uh, when the when Iran was taken over and the whole revolution uh, took on a different line uh, from what it was planned to, uh, I felt that many fundamentalists in Pakistan also uh, looked at it in a very romantic manner. And I think if tolerance returns to Iran, if democracy and and human rights valuing human rights returns to Iran. Um, that would be a very positive impact on the whole region. And I think that people in Pakistan, in India, in Afghanistan, uh, Turkey, many other countries, because a militancy is spread in the whole region. And I think it would do them well. It, it, would, it would create a positive impact if they see that countries are also becoming more tolerant and democ democratization is coming back and more space for different opinions and peace that would impact the whole region. Yes.